heart and battle, you know, one of these tough American guys. He was one of the toughest men I've ever met in my life. And he underwent a spiritual transformation, and then he became a writer, a screenwriter, a very good screenwriter, because he wrote from experience. Robert De Niro's company hired him to one of his screenplays. Uh, and um, if he was going to do the Colombian drug cartel, he would actually go and he would infiltrate in Colombia, right? So uh, this man uh, has his film being produced by Robert De Niro, so they asked him, to do one scene, to play a small role, right? Now this guy calls me up, and he says to me, he goes, his name was Mike, he says, how do you do it, Nick? I said, do what? Act. <laughs> how do you act? <laughs> I said, what are you talking about? He said, look, they asked me to do a scene in this film, okay? I've been in battle. I've seen men die. I have killed people. He said, I've never been more scared in my life. <laughs> and I said, you know why, you Mike? Because you see, when you're in battle, you're fighting the opponent there. When you're an actor, you're fighting yourself. You already know your own tricks. So it becomes, in a sense, in a sense, what, uh, there was a philosopher by the name of Gertrude who said the following to actors. He said, if you're an actor, quit now. He says, all your intensity will be a total waste of time. However, the highest aspiration of mankind is to act. Why? Because it deals with the very nature of existence and consciousness. A painter paints on a canvas outside of his own body. You understand? He puts himself there. Acting is the only art form that is self-referential, other than perhaps dance. In other words, you're using yourself as the canvas. You are both the painter and the painted. To me, personally, it's fascinating, very interesting. How do you do that? You understand? So, how can you not be interested and continue? If you're an actor, like Tony, if you're an actor, and I'm sure of some of the people in this room, that you become why else would you do something as crazy or as stupid as this? If you're doing it because you want to be a big movie star and all that kind of stuff, you can forget about it right now. Even if you do become a big movie star, you know, you end up like Charlie Sheen out of your mind, you know. The point is you want to get into it from the point of view of the art itself. You know, as Stanislavski said, love, you know, the, the, uh, the art, not, you understand? I love the art. If you love the art, which I do, uh, and, and then pursue it. But it's psychophysical work, and in my personal opinion, for any kind of uh, work like this, you have to be an athlete, you have to be uh, uh, um, you have to be a mental, not giant, you don't have to have brains, brains work against you, but you certainly have to have the ability for focus and concentration. It's psychophysical labor. And then you have to have something called inspiration, you know, and and that, of course, was Stanislavski's entire search. How do you find inspiration when this moment happens sometimes in a performance, and it's happened to me maybe four times, in 40 years of doing this, maybe five times, when somehow something takes over and you actually channel, in a sense, the spirit. It's a beautiful profession. Why? Because, like, you know, you can observe human existence. You know, I got to travel around the world. I worked in 12 countries. In over 14 countries, I've worked, uh, you know, in three, four languages. I have gotten to experience life. And so right now, I'm here in Romania. I get to ex experience the, the spirit of this place. I might be in Moscow tomorrow. I might be in, in Hong Kong or wherever it is that I am. And uh, what other profession can give you that kind of opening to existence on the planet? So it makes it an incredibly worthwhile profession, in my opinion. You know, the ancient Greek actors, they used to be part of a almost spiritual practice, you know, and they understood that there was a very powerful spiritual component to the nature of acting, as there is to music, as there is to dance. And I think if you hook into that, and every now and then you're lucky enough to touch it, then of course, in a sense, the universe goes through you. And, uh, and I think that's the other reason why actors can have far too much power and influence in a sense of the earth, like Ronald Reagan, you know, that, that um, you know, that, that because they do, they can touch the human spirit.
Nick, why didn't you choose to do a workshop here? Probably one thing people don't I know. I know I asked. I told him. That's told something that people don't I understand I, about I, Nick. I, 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 um, I went to see him do a workshop with actors, first of all, professional actors, but then I went to see him also do a workshop with these people who have certain challenges uh, psychologically. Yes, I and I, I say this without any kind of, I had no idea how amazing this guy is with actors. In other words, it was a whole different Nick. He did this one thing where it puts actor on a chair and watches how the actor breathes and just looking where the actor is putting the tension. He just says nothing. And I remember once going to audit and he put me on the chair. He said, do you want to go on the chair? And what I found amazing was that it becomes a whole different kind of, I mean, a different Nick. I can't explain it. Where all of a sudden he becomes almost like a, like a midwife. Yeah. A midwife of the creative process, well, which you don't right. expect because it's a very dynamic, and he is a phenomenal acting teacher. I could not believe it. No, the acting process. To be Why didn't you do it? Well, I asked, but they said there's no time. I okay. Know, but, uh, no, because it would have been a great thing for people to see. I, I, I was willing for to, a couple to, of hours, to, you know, to work with people. If you guys are interested, I'm going to be here another three days. I'll work with you guys. I'll hold it here. If you have a space, I'll do it. I'll put you signed in. I wrote a book about it called Acting for Everyone. And this, let me just tell these guys something. My background is, is somewhat unusual. Okay? Besides being a southern Italian and born in Calabria, in the mountains, not dissimilar to Romania, like Tony here, uh, which I think is what triggered the acting. But my interest as a child was certainly not art. It was science, and particularly physics, uh, and particularly electronics. And for many, many years, I studied. I was fascinated in how things work. So. Uh, I approached acting in a sense, although I think I have a natural gift as well, uh, you know, from a scientific point of view, from a point of view of trying to understand what the hell is this thing that we call acting, right? Are you acting? Are you acting? Are we acting right now? Am I acting? What the fuck is it? Excuse the language. But, <laughs> so I, I've been fascinated by it, and that's why I started doing this course, because I'm interested. Like Tony is one of the best actors I have ever encountered. His performances, and in my opinion, uh, up till now in Canada, the best actor to have ever emerged out of the country. He's done fantastic films. You guys don't know who he is because he didn't go to Hollywood. But, uh, but an extraordinary uh, actor. And, um, you know, what makes the difference between someone who can communicate? Actors are communicators. They have the ability to somehow move through everything and touch you. So, it's an act of courage, a tremendous act of courage. Right now, I'm scared to death. I have to do a show tonight. So, I'm scared to death. Don't think that goes away. In fact, the more fear you have, the better you are. All the great actors I've worked with, like Maggie Smith, uh, you know, people that are really extraordinary beings, you know, before they went on the show, they went through terrible, terrible, uh, you know, nerves. That's your friend. Don't ever throw that away. That is what's going to help you. That's what's going to keep you in the move forward. But if you're lying back and waiting for the television star and all that, well, you know, that's to me is not accurate.